Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to paint this beautiful portrait of one of our dogs. His name is Blaze. The palette today will be cobalt blue, titanium white, raw amber, Camu red light, yellow ochre. As I will start to mix in raw amber and cobalt blue with white, I will create a light gray. This will guide me visually to start to see the first appearance of the portrait. But before I start the painting, let me introduce you Blaze. He will be the model for today's painting. In Italian the term alla prima means a first attempt. Creating a painting in a, a single section. I'm starting with a generalized idea and then slowly I will start to emphasize in a more specific way all the details. So very intuitively now I'm uh, looking the image of the dog and I allow the movement of the brush to guide me through the appearance on the surface without taking any measurement. This first part of the paint is what I enjoy the most because that's where I really allow myself to be intuitive and spontaneous with the brush. One of the most effective ways is to capture the initial impression of the subject as fast as possible with thinned paint. In this case, my colors are really similar to the color of the background. I'm going to switch from light gray to a brown gray to redefine the first impression that I did with the light blue.
this point uh, then I start to see the main shape I will start to introduce other colors by mixing uh, camu red light yellow ochre and a little bit raw amber I will be able to have a warm colors which I will allow me slowly to build more texture and create an effect of uh, the furry of the dog Mixing cobalt blue and raw amber, now I'm able to create the darkest colors available in my palette. And with a small brush, now I'm uh, redefining the drawing and start to see a little better the likeness of uh, the portrait. Finally, at this point, I'm going to use a titanium white and start to mix in all the colors in my palette and creating different tint, different shade, different tones. That's my palette, so far you can see the colors that I use and how I mix it. So as you can see I haven't used much colors and uh, that's typical how I personally like to use uh, a la prima technique. Not by using a lot of materials but try to work with uh, semi-opaque layers. They will give you more chance to keep carving, molding, shaping, and maintaining uh, likeness uh, in a design and in the same times in the way you will choose the proper colors for your portrait. With 
with a smaller brush now I'm going to start to work in the smaller detail start to paint in the eyes and uh, the brighter part in the fur And here is my finished painting, a la prima technique. This is my palette, the colors that I use for this portrait. And uh, I hope you enjoyed to watch my video and I will look forward to see you next time. Ciao!